Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. Well, I'm going to do something that I've been avoiding for a long time. I've only been avoiding it because it's just hard for me to set up the perfect situation. But everybody's been asking me, well, how do we know your hoodies work? How do we know your RF shielding products work? And it is difficult to test them correctly because a lot of people will take a cell phone or an inferior meter and try to test them and they won't get the the right results so basically what i have here and it's a long story okay but this is a starlink modem that i have hidden on the side of my tiny home and it goes to an ethernet cable 50 feet over to my office uh, I don't want to explain the whole situation right now. I just haven't disabled the wireless on it for various reasons. But basically what we have is we have an $1,800 gigahertz solutions HF59B. This is a, a very high quality meter. And I have it pointing in the direction of the wireless modem. So it's getting about the highest reading possible. Now. I only have two hands here, so I'm gonna to try to do this the best I can. This is one of our RF shielding belly bands for pregnant, wim pregnant women. And it goes around the belly, and the whole portion of it that goes around the belly has the high frequency uh, capacity shielding fabric in it. All right, so here you can see the meter is registering roughly about 80 microwatts per square meter and then watch what happens when we put the silver shielding over it almost goes down to zero roughly all right so that is how it's protecting a child inside someone's belly i'm going to move it away and you can see the readings go right back up All right, I'm doing this the best I can with two hands. So move it over the antenna. Goes basically to zero. Move it away, and it goes back up. Now, the reason this test is valid is because this meter is a unidirectional meter. All right? And when we test products for their shielding capacity, one needs to use a unidirectional meter because it duplicates more closely the body wearing a piece of RF shielding. Sorry for the camera movement. So here is one of our RF shielding hoodies. I'm just holding it with one hand here the best I can. I need somebody to help me with this, really. All right, so here's the reading on the meter. 65 to almost 90 microwatts per square meter. And I put the shielding hoodie in front of the antenna down to almost zero really but I'm not holding it very well okay there I covered the antenna with it as you can see all right now I'll take it away and you can see the reading shoot right back up I'm gonna see if I can get the hoodie portion over the antenna. All right, so the antenna's inside the hoodie where the, the hood area, the hood where the head would go. And you can see how low the readings go. And then I move it away. And the readings jump right back up. So again, lots of times people say, oh, well, I checked your shielding baseball hats or your hoodie or your ski beanies with my cell phone and I can still get a cell signal. That is not a valid way to test microwave shielding fabrics because a cell phone will pick up a signal 1,000 to 1 million times lower than this, than this meter will. And that does not mean that the shielding is not working because RF shielding clothing products are not cell phone blocking cases. They're not made for that. Um, so even if you can get a cell phone signal inside a piece of RF shielding fabric or clothing, it doesn't invalidate the fact that the clothing could still be 
effectively shielding up to 90-99%. So, hope this was interesting. Again, I feel clumsy trying to do this um, with only two hands. But once again, there's the hoodie in front of the unidirectional meter. There's the readings down to almost nothing. I move the hoodie and there's the readings back up to about 80 microwatts per square meter. Just to show you these products are valid, they do work, and they are highly protective. Thanks for watching.